Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this oil painting time lapse. This is kind of an experimental portrait. It's an exercise in being more free in my art and just enjoying creating fun textures with paint. As you can see, I'm making a purple underpainting. I have no idea why. Honestly, I don't know what possessed me to do this. But what I do know is that when it came to painting the skin tones over that purple underpainting, I did not have a good time. I'm so used to painting over neutral tones and my color mixing felt really wacky at first, so it just took a while to adjust. But yeah, I don't think I'll be doing another purple underpainting anytime soon. The composition for this piece was essentially Frankenstein together in Photoshop. I used like eight or nine separate images to create an image mock-up of the overall composition and the colors. However, I still left room for simply just experimenting with paint and the goal was to depart from following a reference composition so rigidly like I do with my realistic water pieces. I wanted to allow myself to create some interesting textures and make spontaneous marks and decisions throughout the painting. So although I had an idea of what the final painting would look like, I wasn't very attached to it. I started this painting a bit earlier this year and I think the approaching springtime is what inspired the composition and the colors I used. I was remembering the first apartment we rented when I moved out here to Washington State. It had this tree outside our window which exploded in these gorgeous pink blossoms in early springtime and I was obsessed with this tree for like the entire two weeks or so that the blossoms held. I've never had so much pink outside my window ever in my life. It was amazing. Although the blossoms I'm painting here are a much simpler looking flower than the ones on that tree, I think I still consider that tree responsible for this painting's existence. I've always felt like there's this battle between two different artists within me. The first artist, and the one that usually wins, prefers to focus on depicting accuracy in the beauty of this world, to follow a more disciplined and meticulous painting method. Meanwhile, the other artist wants to be free and play with the paint more, to let go of pressure, break rules, and be okay with not knowing exactly what the final outcome will be. I really wanted to channel more of that artist in this painting because she's usually locked away in a cage somewhere in my brain, screaming to come out, which sounds crazy, but it really does feel that way sometimes. This point in the painting is where I really started messing with the paint and kind of ruining the painting, but trying to do it in a pretty way, if that makes sense. And this honestly felt like a battle because I truly didn't like how it was turning out. I ended up wiping away a lot of the marks I made and changing them, so it was a little bit of a struggle to get back to a place where I was happy with the painting. I kept thinking to myself, dang it, why did I let this wackadoo artist come out? She ruined the painting. I should have just kept her locked away in that cage. But I think it's normal to have self-doubt throughout different stages of the painting, and it's important to just keep going and trust the process. Eventually, I started to like the painting again, and I even learned some things and became inspired with ideas for future paintings, which would have never happened if I didn't take a risk. Also, I'm usually painting with a baby monitor in my studio these days. Sky, sky 
the shoulder was quite off before, so fixing the anatomy there was one of the last touches I made on the painting. I posted a short form video of this painting process to my various other platforms and several people asked if there would be prints of this piece and so I made some. They're available in two sizes, 8.5 by 11 inches and 17 by 22 inches. I spent a lot of time making sure that every detail is captured and that the colors match the original. It's really important for me to capture the essence of the original painting in the print. They're printed with archival pigment-based inks on fine art paper. I'm honestly really proud of how these turned out, so if you'd like one, they're available in my art store, linadanyastore.com. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'd really love to paint more in this slightly more free kind of way. That doesn't mean that I'm done painting water because water is an endlessly fascinating subject to paint, but I also like to branch out and try different things with my art, so I really hope you'll stick around for the next painting time lapse. Thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you a beautiful and inspiring day. Bye everyone!